Hey Northwest, it's Kelly here from Monday Nation Station, and today I will be going over a few important updates with you. The More for Someone Scholarship Fund bracelets are still for sale for $2 each, and all proceeds go to the Be More for Someone Scholarship Fund. Don't forget that Northwest is still doing study labs, virtual and in person, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Every Wednesday at 11.30, your focus time teacher will be holding a Zoom, so make sure to join. Be More Kind Club has another virtual meeting on October 21st, so if you're interested, make sure to contact Ms. Hade for the Zoom links. If you are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms, make sure to contact the school's hotline. Some symptoms include fever or chills, sore throat, cough, difficulty breathing, diarrhea, vomiting, or abdominal pain, new onset of severe headaches, and new change in taste or smell. Make sure to social distance as much as possible and beware of your surroundings. Make sure to check out the Mountain Nation Station website by scanning the QR code or going to mountainnationstation.com. See you next week. Hannah Tacey. I'm in the 8th grade and I go to Columbia Central Junior High School. I started doing SFX makeup about three years ago in 2017. So what got me into makeup is I honestly don't really know but I do work in my dad's haunted house, Corpus Barnes Shock Haunt, and I'd say I got most of my inspiration from there I guess. Um, you know I, I was an actor and I would um, for haunt nights throw blood all over my face and I loved it so much and I think that when I discovered SFX makeup it, it was kind of along the lines of that. Obviously haunt season isn't all year round so it isn't something I could do all year round so with makeup though I could do that all year round and it was very similar. I love the concept and everything about it. So the average amount of time my makeups usually take me I'd say ranges from somewhere around three to five hours um, some of them are bigger looks, so they take longer. Some are smaller, so they take shorter amounts. But I'd say somewhere between three and five hours. So I normally don't really get inspiration. I mean, sometimes I'll just kind of think of stuff. and be like, ooh, I can incorporate this with this. Sometimes I'll see, like, um, other makeup artists on Instagram. They'll post, like, one of their makeup looks. And I'll say, hey, I can incorporate this into something else and kind of make it my own. Or sometimes I'll see like in horror movies, like a character or something, I'll take that, I can recreate it. I've actually done a couple of horror movie characters. Or um, I'll take that and incorporate it into my own look with some stuff from that, but you know, make it my own. So probably one of my least favorite makeups I did. Um, I didn't really know what it's called. This is kind of one of the things I created. It had like a mouth kind of like this and it had a bunch of sharp teeth coming out of it. And I had one eye one way, it was, I don't even know how to explain it, but the other eye, it was just, didn't work out. Um, I wasn't happy with the turnout at all. Um, I wish I could have done it completely differently or at least thought while I was creating it, hey, I could do it this way or something else. Um, so yeah, that's probably my least favorite one. So my favorite makeup I've ever done, I actually have a couple of them, but probably my all time favorite is I did a trypophobia look, you know, so my face was covered in tons of holes and you know they were i took black paint and like um painted them black so you know they looked hollow and just icky and disgusting it, it was awesome i loved the turnout i did have a lot of struggles um while i was creating it on my face you know applying everything i didn't think it was going to turn out the way i wanted to thankfully it did once i added all the blood and stuff and I just loved it. The photos turned out amazing. I wouldn't change a thing about that one at all. It was perfect. What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us. 
for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible. in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. change because I had to ask permission whether or not I could take off my mask and that's not something I would normally have to do. Uh, in addition to that, I get to clean my tables on an hourly basis and uh, that's not something that people had to do until like the 1800s when people had one room schoolhouses and they had to stoke the fire. I'm kind of doing that now. Uh, in addition to that, I get the opportunity to uh, be both a face-to-face -face and a virtual teacher and I've never had that opportunity before. So. COVID's given me lots of opportunities. Wow. I think it's gonna look a lot like this. If we're lucky, uh, I think the sad possibility is that you, we might not be face to face at some point for a duration of time. And I, that, that would be the thing that I think changes. But in regards to like, is there gonna be a vaccine? Eventually, yes. Might it be required for schools? Probably eventually. Um, but is that going to change what 2021 20, school year looks like? I don't think so. I think it's going to be face masks for the whole year. I think it's going to be virtual learners and face to face. I think it's going to be a lot of computer and screen time. We're all screen agers now at this point. Um, so hopefully, um, somewhere down the road, we can take these and not have to have them on us all the time. episode of my new show that we review top rated games of the week. Let's go. So on today's episode we're going to be reviewing a game that took the world by storm, Among Us. Among Us is a free to play game that you can get on Google Play, the App Store, or on Steam. Among Us currently has 194,000 current players. In Among Us, the imposter is trying to kill off all of the crewmates without being detected. The crewmates in Among Us try to finish all of their tasks so the game ends and they survive. As a crewmate, you are also trying to figure out who the imposter is by seeing them fake things or sabotage. There are three different maps in the game. Currently, Among Us is number one in the App Store for action games. You can play with up to 10 players and have up to three imposters. There's two ways to pause the game, using emergency meetings or reporting a dead body. Overall, I think this game is a 10 out of 10. It is extremely addicting to play and I've been playing it nonstop lately. That is going to be episode one. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you next time.